Okay, so we had a interesting chain of events uh, since yesterday going up to uh, Barafu camp from Karanga Valley. Got to Barafu and the winds were strong. It had uh, blown apart people's tents that were staying there the night before. Talked to the ranger. We went up to Kosovo above Barafu in, you know, a long time here on Kilimanjaro with many climbs I've never seen the winds like that 50 miles an hour or so um, for us we got the tents up for the guests we got our dining tent up to put our staff in and our other uh, mountain hardware dome which do very well in the wind we served the guest uh, dinner in their tents kind of monitored things through the night by 11:30 when we we're supposed to get up I went around the winds were still really strong didn't feel comfortable leaving with the group under those conditions. I'll you in about a half hour. Okay. I'll call you soon. Bye. So talked to the group and went back around and made a plan that for those who could extend their trip an extra day, you know, we would look at uh, waking them up at 3 o'clock if the winds dried down and leaving at 4 a.m., which we did. Half the group wanted to do that. Half the group needs to go home for work and or safari that they're booked on. So they made their decisions, and uh, half the group uh, got up at 3, as I did with my guides. I sent uh, seven staff members up with seven guests, so it was one-to-one -one since... Um, it was extra windy conditions, um, and they set it out. Set out. Once they set out uh, at four o'clock, um, I got the guests up that remained in camp a while later, and they had breakfast. And um, we started down from Kosovo camp through Barafu. Now we're on our way to Millennium, where we're going to have lunch, and then by this evening we'll be at Maweka. And then tomorrow, as scheduled, we'll head down to the Maweka Gate um, and back out so people can catch their flights and or go on safari, whatever they are scheduled to do. The other group, mainly a family that said they could alter their plans and uh, start their safari a day later. Um, we made it work for them, so they're spending one extra night on the mountain. A little additional cost, but not terrible, and they all got to summit this morning, so the winds uh, backed off. Uh, around sunrise it was quite windy until about 5 a.m. and then uh, wind started to dissipate and they got up and um, I've been in radio contact with my guys up there all morning they made Stella point called me from Stella called me from the summit called me back again when they're at Stella now they're heading down I'm sure they're tired it was a long night and they'll st spend the night at the Barafu camp then tomorrow they'll work their way from Barafu down to um, the Millennium Camp and onto the Mueka Camp for a night, and then they'll have their last day out to the Mueka Gate. But I think it's important to remember that um, on any mountain, the mountain decides, and uh, we're always going to err on the side of the safe uh, safety for um, our guests, safety for our, our team here, our large crew on Kilimanjaro, making sure that all our porters and staff have shelter and are comfortable and we're, we're all safe together. And also then um, being flexible. If we can make it work where people can add a day and, and uh, be a little uh, you know delayed, but then have the opportunity to make the summit, we're always going to do that and understand that some people uh, don't have that flexibility in their schedule, so they need to head on down and and continue on with their plans. Everybody's happy, everybody feels content, everybody had a great week, it's a beautiful climb, and um, it's uh, one of those lessons here on Kilimanjaro that you know the mountain decides and then we have to react and decide how we're gonna react with her. And um, yeah, we've got a group coming down that's happy from the summit, and a group that's happy they made the decision they did to uh, stay at camp under those windy conditions. It was blowing like 50 or so for a while and uh, now we're heading down and I'm um, gonna make our way back out and uh, back down to the lodge and have a celebration dinner for both groups when they come off and they're going to continue on with their plans. So um, 
being flexible in Kilimanjaro is what we try to do. We try to make it work for everybody the best we can and uh, keep safety in mind first and uh, provide the best mountain experience we can. I think it all goes back to very the very beginning of this trip where I tell people that it's really important to enjoy the journey. It's not just about standing on top. It's about the five eco zones. It's about each camp. It's about our staff of amazing guys here from Tanzania and this group experience that really contribute to having a great experience here in Tanzania, which they all did and we're all doing and will continue to do for the next couple days until, until we're down. So another great time in Kilimanjaro. Looking forward to going to Mount Kenya in a couple days, then uh, coming back to Kilimanjaro to meet another group and come do it again. Awesome time.